Three years ago, on this exact same day, February 19, 2022, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji launched the monumental Kisan Drone Yatra, where 100 crore drones took off simultaneously in 100 villages across the country. Needless to say, that moment changed my life and the destiny of Garuda Aerospace as well, a company I founded in 2016. On the three-year anniversary of the unforgettable day, allow me to quickly summarize how much Garuda has grown and how the entire Indian drone ecosystem has progressed thanks to the multiple progressive government schemes and initiatives that have been introduced. Government liberalized drone rules and promoted ease of doing business that has led to the birth of over 800 drone startups in just four years. Government introduced production link incentives in the drone sector to boost our indigenous drone manufacturing community. Garuda Aerospace has received over four crores in the last four years. Government banned foreign drones to support local drone manufacturers. India is now home to over 100 indigenous drone manufacturers that are DGCA approved and nearly 200 remote pilot training organizations authorized by the DGCA to provide drone pilot licenses. Garuda became the first ever drone company to receive dual DGCA certifications in both manufacturing as well as training. Government introduced the Swamitha scheme to digitize land records and over 3 lakh villages have been mapped as on date. Garuda supported to map over 7,000 villages in UP alone. Recently, the Dronagiri Geospatial Initiative and the Naksha scheme for planning rural and semi-urban development are game changers for a rapidly growing economy like India. The government conceptualized and implemented the Namo Drone DD scheme where the cabinet approved 1,267 crores to purchase 15,000 Kisan drones to support the women in self-help groups. Garuda supplied 447 out of the 500 drones last year and most of these women have become Lakpati DDs earning 2 to 3 lakhs annually. Garuda has manufactured and sold over 3,000 drones to IFCO, Cripco, NFL, RCF, FACT, Mahendra, TAFE and several other FPO FPCs and including a lot of custom hiring centers as well. Garuda has cemented market dominance and established pan-India networks of dealers and resellers. We have also opened India's largest after-sales support service centers in 250 locations across the country. Garuda has served over 400 clients for drones as a services including PSUs like the Steel Authority of India, NTPC, Survey of India, Odisha Mining Corporation, Gujarat Mines, CMPDI Mines, Jharkhand Mines, NHAI, Indian Railways and the private giants like Reliance, Adani, Godrej, Vedanta, Tata, LNT, Sipla, GMR and many other corporates. Thus making Garuda the most valuable Indian drone startup in the unlisted space today. The entire drone industry has boomed and progressed over the last three years. Prior to 2020, none of the VC firms invested in drones. However, today, over 4,000 crores of funding have flown into the Indian drone startup ecosystem. There has been strategic investment made by giant corporation into startups and three startups have gone public as well. To conclude, India is rapidly transforming into a global drone hub. And I have no doubts that the Indian drone industry will be a global superpower by 2030 as envisioned by our Dronacharya, Sri Narendra Modi ji. On behalf of Garuda Aerospace and the entire Indian drone industry, I would like to thank Modi ji for the constant support and encouragement.